it spans the evil genius with your lab secrets tip of the day hey guys today I want to show you how to install a really cool slideshow in your call to action area now this will replace the standard static call to action that comes with either your lab vids theme or your lab zip starter theme we've also made it possible if you're using the native and wonderful responsive theme from theme ID this will also work there so if you're looking for a slider this is the best way to do it. Best part about it is these are responsive. So that means that when you switch to your iPhone or iPad, that not only does the slideshow correspondingly scale, but it also has swiping capability. So if you use your finger across the screen on an iPad or iPhone or any other touch device, it'll allow you to interact with the slides. You can see here that this also scales when you're in landscape mode, or if I go back up to a size that's more like an iPad, I can also show you how it goes there. Everything scales wonderfully, and this is a great way to market or feature your products or your other images without having to know how to code. Now, the thing that's important is we're using this wonderful Meteor Slides plugin, but Meteor Slides by itself doesn't natively integrate into the responsive theme or our child theme. So basically, instead of making you use what's called a PHP template tag, we've just made it as simple as point and click. And here's how it goes. You'll install a plugin from us, and you go under your plugins area, installed plugins, and you can get this from us at labzip.com. And the plugin is called the Lab Vids Meteor Slideshow. And effectively, it gives you the option of putting it right there in place of your native call to action. If I was to deactivate this, you see that it restores to the native responsive theme. If I go back in and turn it back on, see that it replaces it. It's that simple. So we made it really dead bang easy for you to do. Now the Meteor Slideshow itself is a plugin which is super simple to set up. If you went over into Slides Settings, before you add your slides you're going to want to go ahead and set um, the slide height at 525 pixels and the width to 460. Now you can adjust that if you like because it doesn't have to be this big of an image and this big of a text, but these are the ones that we've used by default. So we've also made it easier for you because we include the sample images that we've created and the sample text. Super simple to work backwards and simply replace your own stuff. Watch how I do that. So once I've established that I have the height and width and I say how many slides I'm going to use, and in this case it's three, I can select the transition type so I have that nice fade, but I can do something more dramatic. And I can change the speed and duration of the slide. I also can decide whether I want to have the slideshow navigation with the little buttons below, which are these things, or these little buttons on the side. I can have either one or both, or none at all. So I save that. Let me show you now how I go about making it that I can swap out some of the call to action stuff. We've made it simple because we've retained all the responsive themes options. So I go under Appearance, Theme Options, and I simply go under Home Page. And here, if I wanted to, for example, replace maybe the headline image, uh, lab vids, with my own, I could say, my new headline. When I click Save, watch how easy this is. One, two, three, ta-da, that's it. And I can do the same with the rest, including the call to action button link, etc. Everything natively will work and replace out those options. Now, if I ever get tired of this, I could just turn it off. So I go back over to Installed Plugins. I just deactivate the Labvids Meteor Slideshow. And when I do, I'm back to my native responsive theme, or I'm back to my native Labvids theme or LabZip starter child theme. Now, one last thing. If you are using our Labvids child theme, you've got this wonderful native integration with video on the home page. Well, if you wanted to, you don't need to show that. We can always go back in our dashboard. And instead of doing it that way, I can go ahead and turn off featured videos on home page. When I refresh the page, you'll see that I've got lab vids, but I've only got the new lab vids meteor slider call to action. This would be terrific, for example, if you wanted to go ahead and maybe put the videos inside the slideshow, or maybe you wanted a combination of videos and sliders, and you didn't want the big theater. Either way, the options are all easy, 
And we've made it simple for you to do because we don't want you to have to worry about programming. If you have any questions about this new feature, please visit us at labzip.com where you can get all of our great plugins and child themes. Or you can always visit labvids.com if you're interested in our free video solution for Wistia. This is Spence, the evil genius. We'll see you next time.